just put the strings on the table in and um, so this instrument it's pretty much a normal fiddle even though it looks a bit weird um, except that I've cut panels in and put drum skin in them and the idea is that I'm going to put weights in these and then you can tune them and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll have a pitch and a sustain and I'm hoping that they're going to uh, resonate sympathetically like the strings on a, a viola de more or a harbanger fiddle anyway i don't know if that's going to work or not um anyway i've asked uh, my friend gabriel to come down and try this he's uh, like one of the most versatile fiddlers i know so it's gonna <laughs> think of i need need somebody with those talents and uh let's see what we got this has not been bowed yet so <laughs> you're gonna see the first note <laughs> So these two fiddles are the same model. Um, they're just they're just constructed differently. So we're going to do a little sound comparison here. <laughs> ha. Well, I mean, the first thing I notice is that they're, I mean, considering how radically different they're built, they pretty much sound the same. Yeah, they play chamber music together. <laughs> right, right. So I've got a bunch of magnets here, and these are going to be the weights, and I can add one, uh, two or more. And um, there's, there's panels. So I put a lot of different panels in because I thought I'd like to have them tuned to different pitches because if this idea works, that will, that will fill out the tone or make a richer tone. So let's just start with a couple and see what happens. Um, so all I'm going to do is drop a magnet inside. <laughs> and place it about somewhere in the middle. So, you can hear it's, it now has, a, now has a tone, and if I add another magnet, it's actually dropped down in pitch. So let's do one like that, and uh, So I've got two, two different tones here. Stop bowing the note, is it? Yeah, not not particularly. All right, now we're gonna try it while it's fully loaded, <laughs> front <Nice>. and back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
that sounds too. <laughs> well I've done. failed again to make a really weird sounding <laughs> fiddle. <laughs> okay, on to the next. I have a more radical idea for yes, the next one. Keep getting more and more radical. <laughs> you, you have to wake one that sounds like crap. I do. That's, that's when you'll know. Considering how similar it sounds, indistinguishable it sounds, uh -huh. um, it's funny to me that people like are worried that things like the varnish affects the tone and stuff when you can literally take out half of the violin and it right. sounds like <laughs> Yeah, I really like this stuff. There's the tablin, and I have to admit, I am a little disappointed that it doesn't sound like a viola de more. Disappointed, but not entirely surprised. However, what this instrument does show, once again, is that as long as you get a few key things right in the construction of a violin, on other parts, uh, you can deviate quite radically and still get a good sounding instrument. The most interesting thing about this fiddle is something that is unique in my experience, and that is the fact that you can make significant and useful tonal adjustments very quickly and reversibly, and I think that that would be of interest to players and also could be very useful in acoustics research. Thank <laughs> you.